What's up everybody? I'm Sly the Movie Guy and here's my movie review of John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum directed by Chad Stelhusky, the director of the first two films and this film stars Keanu Reeves once again in John Wick, Ian McShane, Lawrence Fishburne, Holly Berry and the rest of the other cast and crew and in this film super assassin John Wick is on the run after killing a member of the International Assassin's Guild and with a 14 million price tag on his head he is target of hitmen and women everywhere. I enjoyed the first two John Wick films, and if you've seen my first my review of the first two films, you know how much that how I liked them, how much I enjoyed the action, the storyline, and all I got to say is John Wick three, John, chapter three, absolutely was a blast. Oh my, this movie is just is just fantastic. As the first two films, just that's all I got to say. It this film would just it does everything that. For me, as a, a person who loves action movies, just was fantastic. I am pleasantly can say this puts a smile on my face. There's so much alike from John Wick, Chapter 3, storyline and action, which all that is really good. The storyline, basically, which I'm going to, no spoilers, it's just the way they, they did the storyline. And they in the storylines in John Wick's, they absolutely do, do fantastic, like, they explore more. Each film has just like explores to making the world bigger and bigger of this crime stuff and all that. And with John Wick in Chapter 3, they really made it interesting because John Wick had to make choices when he traveled into places. It's stuff when he, with the char new characters that he talks to in this film, he does, the things happen here that you didn't know, you didn't see, you didn't see that coming and stuff like that. It just, it kept you very interested. And for me, it kept me interested in watching the film. Especially the first 20 minutes. I would just engage what was going on. There was so much going on in the first 20 minutes in this film. I was just like, oh, it is this getting really good. It just, it start off, it just starts off, the movie just has a great start. And that's what I like about it. And that incorporates that with the story. The story just so investing because it's so... It's so realistic. That's what I like about John Wick films. They make it so realistic with this crime stuff that I'm just like, wow, this is amazing. And it does, it is some stuff that just, the, that comes from the, the, the last John Wick chapter two that I like that they bring back here. That it really makes the story still interesting and what's going on. Especially when John Wick is getting, getting chased down. He's on a run and stuff. So that keeps the movie really like keep me invested just seeing when John Wick trying to uh, trying to survive through this dangerous situation and you could get behind him and that's one of the things I like about the story and that's just what I needed and the writers did a fantastic job on that I give them credit they did exactly what they, the what the first two films did just made it focus on what we have to look for as an audience and that's one of the things I like Style and the camera work in the movie. The style is absolutely amazing, once again, just like the first two. The color blend and the cinematography is absolutely amazing here in this film. I really like how it just, it looks so like the color of it. It just looks real. It's almost like they could make a comic book out of it, like a noir comic. And I really like how they d did in this film like that. It just, it puts you in this world like, wow, the... The blending of it. And I just like how film looks and all that. I look at where the film looks. That If the film looks like the tone of it. It's absolutely amazing. That's why I say the tone once again. Is absolutely grounded and amazing. Nothing cheesy here. So absolutely fantastic. The tone would just. It just puts you in the mood. Like there's nothing's going to come out like. Like stupid or anything. So I give that credit. Let me talk about the the action and the acting in this movie. First off, let me get out with the acting here. Keanu Reeves once again shows that he just fantastic. He just he he just fantastic in his role. John Wick, total badass. Every minute Keanu Reeves is on screen, just he says he's the main character. He just absolutely does a fantastic job here. Once again, John Wick, you could buy into him as this assassin killer. It just Keanu Reeves is so well committed in his movie. Just like the first film, the, he just was so fantastic. Go for Ian McShane that does fantastic here too, and Lawrence Fishburne absolutely does a fantastic job. Let me talk about Holly Berry. 
her care I was kind of a little iffy because Holly Berry hadn't had a great like run when it comes to movies. Some of her movies been like a hit and miss. Most I say a miss for me, in, in my opinion. But here she does absolutely fantastic, which really surprised me. Her interaction with like like her and Keanu Reeves on the on the screen, they absolutely do fantastic, especially when it comes to the action scenes. Because I heard that she like th that she was trained to do all like that all the action scenes and stuff she was trained for this movie, and it really shows. And whoa, especially when I'll get to that, it just her and, and Keanu Reeves were great on screen for the for the screen time in this film, and I absolutely enjoyed that. Especially you know, one thing which I won't get any spoilers. It just it was she did a fantastic job. Now let me get to the action. Whew. If John Wick Chapter Three, if John Wick Chapter One and Two wasn't that was was that good of action things, Three will just make your mouth, make your jaw drop. I mean, anything, make your make your heart race. Everything that you dream, I I I eat action scenes up every time when I watch it, and action scenes are absolutely woo, especially the one like the. Why I said with Holly Berry and John Wick, and it was like the the dogs in one of the action scenes. It was it was so mind blowing. It is just like they really like did this, and that's what I liked about the John Wick. The actions are just it gets better and better each time you went in, in in a different movie, and it feels fresh. The action here just absolutely feels fresh, especially like the action scenes, like. When John Wick, and you see from the trailer with the knife thing, that was just so intense. That scene just put chills on the spine, gave me goosebumps, everything. I was just like, whoa, I didn't see that. Ho, ho, ho. And then the third, and the, it's, it's towards the, the, the final act in the film was just freaking amazing. The final, like the, the action here in the final act, it was just like, ow, wow. I couldn't believe, like, because it's just, it, it was so different. And all I mean by what the, the fighting and the move, the action in the movie, it was not like much of the gun food that you see like in the first two John films. Even though there's some gun fight, fights here in the, the gun battles, but there was like a lot of like, like choreography stunt work that didn't involve guns. That just was so well choreographed. And the camera work is once again amazing. Everything about John Wick Chapter 3 is like fantastic from start to finish. It's just like the trilogy. This is like a great trilogy. And I like how the three first three did it. The first one was like an intro. The second one was like a trade up action film. This one was the, had like a couple of parts that was just like like dialogue and more like like making choices and stuff like that. And and explore more to the crime world and all this stuff. Absolutely amazing. Those are and it and each each film has done the nominal job with the storyline. Now let me get on to the film where it does lead for a sequel. That really kind of leave me, but it does lead for a fourth film. And what I mean is, there's something happens towards the end. I don't get any spoiler. There still happens in the third act that still happens, and some something like this that like one like some like something happens here that I'll, that let me shock in and what happened to some of our characters in the film and towards the end when I when one of the characters say something I'm like oh this is gonna be awesome so I can't wait if it's gonna be a so if it's gonna happen or not I hope it is John Wick 4 I wonder how that's gonna be I'm very excited for it so that's one of the things. Now let me get on to the issues of the film. One of my issues is that the film kind of has some type of slow burn at some parts. Some parts I think were dragged on, and this is a two-hour movie. I feel like this movie could have been cut down a little bit, like a, a like a, a hour and fifty-six minutes, maybe an hour and fifty-two. There were some parts I felt like that kind of was too long. Like I said, two-hour movie. So it was kind of like, okay, I'm ready to get back. And once you get to like the action, it kind of just cuts like that and stuff. And I was like, uh, I don't really care for it. But hey, that's just one of my little issues with the film and stuff. Overall, this is an absolutely fantastic film from start to finish. 
I recommend you check out John Wick Chapter 3. Please go to the movies. Please go on it. I you just need to go see this. This this if you love action movies, you will appreciate this film. And I'm gonna give John Wick Chapter 3 a A. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about John Wick Chapter 3. Did you like it or not? Let me know. And tell me which is your favorite John Wick film. Let me know that too. Like I said, whew, all three of them are so fantastic. Uh, man. Mm. Oh no. I'll, let, I'll decide later. But let me know in the comment section your thoughts about the film and which film you like. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, click thumbs up. If you didn't, y'all click subscribe and the bell button. That's why I can see you next time on Slide the Movie Guy. Peace.